Understanding in the Modern World, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're diving into a very common but important phrase in the modern world. This phrase is used frequently in various contexts, and understanding it can really help you grasp the essence of many discussions and texts. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in your own conversations and writing. In the modern world, refers to the current period of human history, especially focusing on the technological advancements, societal changes, and global connectivity that define our era. It contrasts with past historical periods where different technologies, societal norms, and levels of global interaction were present. When someone uses this phrase, they're drawing attention to the unique aspects of life, challenges, opportunities, and advancements that are characteristic of today's society. To help you understand how to use in the modern world, let's look at some examples. In the modern world, communication has become incredibly fast and easy, thanks to the internet and smartphones. Dealing with climate change is one of the most pressing challenges in the modern world. Maintaining privacy in the modern world can be difficult due to the prevalence of social media. These examples show the phrase being used to set the stage for discussing various topics, emphasizing their relevance to our current time. Understanding and using the phrase, in the modern world, effectively can help you. Connect with global issues and trends in your conversations and writing. Express your thoughts on how technological and societal changes affect us. Engage in discussions about challenges and opportunities we face today. We hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and use of the phrase, in the modern world. It's a powerful way to connect your ideas to the broader context of current global trends and issues. Keep practicing using this phrase in your English conversations and writing, and you'll find it a valuable addition to your linguistic toolkit. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.